Howdy friends, Kyle here. Grand Bay Marine standing in front of the all new 2020 StarCraft SLS 5. And I know you're not supposed to say this, but uh, if you're a parent, you're not supposed to say if you've got a favorite child. And so these boats, all of our inventory, right? They're kind of like our children. And to me, right, I've got favorites. And the SLS series, the entire lineup, is by far my favorite high performance tri tune. So I'm gonna take out a little virtual walkthrough of this boat show you a few things that stick out and really set this boat away from our competition. So amazing boat. So let's start at the front here, looking at the paneling. Now this boat is stunning, so beautiful. This is in the carbon color. And then these anodized blacked out rails, this is standard. One of those things that sets the SLS series apart. So beautiful, bimini top is anodized black like that as well, but just gorgeous. D-rail system, lots of beauty here, lots of design character. Uh, so they did just a great job of making the cosmetic side of this look good. And keep in mind, the derail system on the outside really gives the boat extra integrity. So when you're rafted out on the sandbar with your friends and family, you've got extra protection from your fencing, okay? And, and, and your furniture, so great job there. Now, docking lights, these are awesome. So after the sun goes down and you're coming back to the trailer or to your boathouse, you've got these strategically placed LED docking lights to get you in safely. And I love how they recess those here as well. Again, uh, thinking about safety, comfort, and design, leaving this deck wide open. So there are no pod lights here. This deck is wide open, allows you, again, to entertain guests. And when you're docking this boat and you're getting on and off of it, look, clean, right? There are no tripping hazards out at all. So great job on the design there. So a couple other things. Stainless steel rub rail. So not only does this give you extra curb appeal, but a, a piece of high quality material that's not going to rust. It's sturdy. So again, bump into a dock, uh, wrapped it up next to a friend. This gives you not only a, a great look, but also the added security of knowing that you've got uh, this, this sort of brush guard here, if you will, for, bar, borrowed from the automotive world, but, but the extra protection on your investment. So. What makes this boat high performance? Well, it all takes place underneath the boat. And so this is the HMX package, the PR25. So a 25 inch shaft length motor is gonna go on this boat. But let's take a look at underneath here. Full aluminum underskin. So again, looking at efficiency and a boat that's gonna go fast through the water and corner really quickly, this aluminum underskin, full aluminum underskin. And, and let me just take a second, because not all boats are created equal. Some of our competitors, they don't do that. So the aluminum underskin will only go maybe three quarters of the way and they'll show you a picture of it and not tell you that it's not fully skinned. So StarCraft cuts no corners here, fully skinned aluminum uh, underside here. So that's awesome. Couple other things here, these lifting strikes. So, Lifting streaks on the inside of the outer tunes and the outside of the center tune. Now, why didn't they put lifting strikes all over the place? Why just like that? Well, it helps the boat corner. So when you put this boat into a corner, maybe you're uh, pulling a tuber or a skier and you really want to uh, give them that experience. This is the this is the best design. Now, now we've being the largest dealer in Northern Michigan, we get to test drive a lot of these boats, and I can tell you firsthand experience. The SLS series corners better than any of them. So great performance as well. And maybe you don't do a ton of tubing and skiing. So how does this help you otherwise? Well, when you're out in the big water, out on Lake Michigan, out on West Bay, East Bay, Torch Lake, Crystal Lake. I know I'm leaving out some of the iconic lakes around here, but that boat, these, this design will help the boat stay on plane when you're going through the rough water. So it's incredible. Love the design and the front of the SLS series. Okay, let's take a walk down the side profile of the SLS-5. Now, a couple things, a uh, couple dimensions for you. 2510, that's the length overall of this boat. 2510, so you can fit up to 14 of your best friends, neighbors, coworkers, you name it. This boat is an absolute people mover, a high performance people mover. So love that you can get 14 people on it. Uh, it it's actually rated for 300 horsepower motor. So tubing, skiing, cruising, barefooting and you can barefoot behind this boat it'll go that fast confidently pulling tuber skiers barefooters wakeboarders you name it this boat is designed to do it all so 
Side profile, love the side profile. Again, elegance, beauty, form, function, you name it. They did a great job. And, and I just gotta say, this is their number one seller, okay? As a company, StarCraft SLS Series, this is their number one seller. You can get into one of these boats, but I don't wanna give you the numbers because you gotta call me to get those, but they are lower than anybody else out there. And again, what you're gonna be comparing it to is not nearly as nice. The quality, the fit, and the finish, and all that you get, StarCraft definitely offers the best value, and that's why it's been a number one seller. We got number one market share with this Tritune. So if you're looking for a Tritune, 21 to 25 feet, the SLS series is a boat you gotta put your eyes on. So again, gorgeous panels, love this. Raised logo, again, they're proud of their name. No stickers here, beautiful raised logo here. And again, a couple different color variations. Again, just beautiful styling. They did it all on this one. Now, here's, here's the game changer. Okay, so th for this boat and for Tritunes especially, Having the swim platform back here is a game changer. And again, StarCraft does it better than anybody here. A huge area to hang out, jump, snorkel, sunbathe, put an extra cooler, uh, store skis, wakeboards. I mean, this is just a multi-purpose area that adds to an already perfect design. So what they did here, again, is a huge game changer. And, I'll, and quite frankly, there aren't a lot of tritunes that give you this much dedicated space on the swim platform. So love this. So glad that StarCraft does it. Big swim platform, beautiful stainless steel ski tow bar. Okay, so again, for tubing, skiing, barefooting, uh, wakeboarding, this will do it all. And hey, maybe you don't do those things. That's okay. So if you're just floating around on a tube or, or some kind of a, a sun pad back here, tie yourself off to the ski tow bar here. Or for people getting in and out of the boats, elderly people, children, okay, this is a safety feature. So you get into the boat and you've got something to hold on to. Now, the boat's not moving around in here, but in the real world, on the water, it is moving around. So love the design of the ski tow bar. Sexy too. Look at the lines on this thing. Okay, now speaking of safety, I want you to see the stainless steel telescoping ladder. Okay, this is a ladder for everybody. Okay, kids, adults, elderly people who need a little extra assistance getting in the boat, four steps, four step telescoping ladder, extra wide rungs here. So getting in and out of the water couldn't be any easier. So love this design. Stainless steel again too, because they don't skimp on any of their building components. Great job StarCraft on the swim ladder. And again, this is standard equipment on the StarCraft SLS-5. Okay, motor pod area back here. This is overbuilt again designed to handle up to a 300 horse motor. It, it, this is incredible. And again, one thing, because of the aluminum underskin, we can't show you is the heavy hat construction. So get, keep that in mind, memorize that heavy hat construction. And when you're looking at a competitor, ask them what kind of construction they use under their boats for their cross members. They're gonna say heavy, what heavy? And, and maybe they know, maybe, they, likely they don't know, but I'll tell you, StarCraft uses the highest quality materials the strongest built, and they're really known for building a tank, right? Kind of like the Hummer of the pontoon world. They really overbuild their boats. And, and the idea is, hey, after you buy this boat, you're, you're probably never gonna sell it, right? You're, you're gonna fall in love with it and you're gonna want a boat then that lasts for year after year after year after year. So again, love the design back here, big swim platform, beautiful stainless steel ski tow bar. Oh, and did I mention gas tank? 60 gallon gas tank standard, 60 gallons. So why is that a big deal? Well, you're going to spend a lot of time on this boat and you don't necessarily wanna be trailering it to the fuel docks or, or driving it down the lake to a fuel dock. So love the idea of having a 60 gallon tank. One other thing here, uh, where the fill location is, a lot of our competitors will put a fuel fill on the side of the boat, okay? Uh, the problem with having it on the side of the boat is, uh, number one, you've got to, then you're, you're, you're locked into what side of the gas dock you pull up on, or if you're at the uh, gas station, what side you pull up on. So with this being in the center, it gives you versatility. The other thing is, if you've got a fuel fill right here, you're going to drip gas, okay? It's going to discolor this fencing. It's going to get on your flooring, or you're going to spill it down into the lake. Okay, so form, function, design here. They've done it all. This fuel fill is the best idea where 
where it could possibly be placed in the boat. Let's get into the cockpit here, and I, I sort of feel like I'm on an episode of MTV Cribs because this is just luxury. So follow me in here. It's huge. Again, at 2510, there are seats everywhere. I kind of feel like uh, Goldilocks here. It's like, where do I sit? Do I sit here? Do I want to sit? Do I want to sit here? It's like you've got seating from tip to tail, and it's all comfortable and it's all amazing. So let's start up at the front here. Look at all of this space here. Okay really thoughtfully designed space. Now let me start with these backrests. Extra wide backrests. Again, compare this to what else is out there, but again, if you sit here, right, you need support for your entire spread of your back. So they do that. Lots of thought going on here. Seats are comfortable. Look at these materials, right? Uh, uh, different color stitching, different color materials. They've got a um, kind of a honeycomb look going on here, but again, just detail, luxury, fit, finish. Love the recessed cup holders here. And again, couple, couple, of, couple of reasons why. Floating cup holders just don't work in the real world. And floating cup holders are those little pods that you can move around that you set your drinks in that don't tip over. Well, that's great if you only have a couple of people on your boat, but if you've got a boat full of people, where do you set those things? Or if you're lounging like this, where are you going to set cup holders? Well, you're going to set them on the floor, and then the next person by is going to mow it over, and you're going to have a drink all over the place. You're going to be mad. And, uh, well, listen, if you're in a StarCraft, you've got recessed cup holders. It's a great design. Not only does it always, you, you always have cup holders in the right places, but, hey, if the sun's up over here, your drink is over here. Shade it, right? It's safe. It's good to go. Nobody's going to kick it over. So love the design there. Also, a couple things. The seat backs hit you right where you're supposed to. Okay, some of the some of the manufacturers manufacture furniture is just too low. And again, they're saving on materials, they're trying to cut costs. Maybe they're owned by a big conglomerate and, and they need to show profits. StarCraft's been in business over a hundred years. Okay, it's a family-owned company. They're really interested in designing boats that add to their reputation, something they can be proud of and pass on to the next generation. So Again, lots of thought going on here, uh, a lot of purpose. So high seat backs, very, very comfortable here. And let me just show you something else, something small, but it's, it's kind of a big deal here. A lot of manufacturers, their seat bases will go straight down behind the seat, okay? Uh, elderly people that have a hard time sitting down like this, if that seat back, seat base is, goes straight down, then you've got to kind of like, here, give me your hand. Help me get up out of the seat here. Uh, Thank you. Or if you've got bad knees, you don't even have to be old, but maybe uh, maybe you're a hockey player or a soccer player or you know an old sports jock and, and now your knees are bad. It's hard to get out of these seats. But StarCraft, on purpose, recess these seat bases so you can put your feet back, lock yourself into position, and voila, easy to stand up. So love the design, love the thought that goes into this. Now, double hinge seat seats here. Uh, look at this, up and back. Okay, now, hands-free. I'm gonna flip this down. Not only is this seat base lower, so it's easier to get into my storage compartment, but I'm hands-free. Again, in the real world, this boat's moving around, the wind, the waves, okay? I don't want my hands holding a seat or handing the seat cushion to a neighbor. Say, can you please hold this while I get my, you know, uh, my, my life jacket out of here or my, my noodle? Okay, when well, you're probably wondering, what is this here? What's this little channel? Well. That's what they call a rain diversion channel, water diversion channel. So you get caught in a downpour, okay? Boats flooding with water. You're worried about what's in your storage compartments. Well, listen, the water diversion channel is designed to take that water and dump it outside of the boat rather than flood your storage compartment. So brilliant design. Again, forward thinking. One other thing, the material that these seat bases are made out of is called roto, this is a rotocast process and it's plastic, right? Kind of like Tupperware. Tupperware just never seems to go away. Similar to these seat bases, they're gonna last a lifetime. So love the thought, love the design here of this forward seating area here. And, and one other thing, I just wanna kind of show you uh, the radius, we call this radius seating here. So again, a lot of our manufacturers will 90 this off, just cut this straight off here. But doing this radius style seating gives you extra seating. So. If your boat's rated for 14 people, it's going to seat 14 people, okay? So, again, just little things that you maybe can't tell from looking at a brochure or looking online, 
Yeah, but on a virtual tour like this, we can point those things out, okay? This has an awesome kicker stereo system, four speaker system. So if you love stereo, uh, if you love sound, if you love being out on the sandbar, jamming out, Bluetooth stereo system, four speakers that absolutely rock out. Now, the console. Uh, StarCraft committed to building and designing this new console a couple years ago. It was an absolute game changer for the SLS series. And so what they did is they took this to the next level. And if you look, it really, I don't know. I've never been in a space shuttle, but if I, I, this is what I imagine kind of a space shuttle looking like. It's, it's, this is so cool. High tech, you've got gauges all over the place and there's a, a trim gauge that's standard equipment, beautiful rocker panel switches that are backlit. Here's your kicker stereo, okay, nicely uh, located there. Has the upgraded steering wheel here with, uh, with a tilt option to give you lots of comfort. And then this little glove box here, okay? Our smartphones can't sit out in the sunlight all day long or they'll overheat, they won't work. But they've created this little space here so you can put your cell phone, maybe your wallet in here, got a little charging port, and then a USB MP3 port. So again, so much thought goes into every little detail of these boats. Another little storage compartment here that can be used for, uh, again, keys, wallets, Precious goods, love the thought there. And again, this, the uh, the throttle position. When you're sitting in this boat, you'll notice right away ergonomics from the seating, uh, how the uh, uh, seat bases are recessed so you can stand up, the water diversion channel, where the cup holders are placed, ergonomics. You got everything kind of like if you were sitting there, where would you want your cup holder? Where would you want to put your phone? How would you want your steering wheel positioned? They think of ergonomics every step of the way. So. These two captain's chairs, this is what makes this design and layout sort of unique. Uh, we've got the, we here have coined the phrase coming and going. Uh, it, what, the, what that really means is that you've got two loungers up front, port starboard side. You've got two loungers that are kind of mirrored in the back, port starboard side. And then these two luxurious uh, marine style lazy boy chairs. They swivel 360 degrees. There's comfort and padding and adjustability and these things are just incredible here i'm looking oh i can just feel the sun beating down on my face and the, the wind blowing in my hair and my kids smiling not fighting over anything enjoying themselves being perfect little angels out in the water I and mean, this is great these seats can take you there and yeah i'm not even out in the water so Great design here on the seats. Love how adjustable they are. Again, look at the materials they're using. And this is the wear surface on a boat. The vinyls really matter because people are sitting, climbing, jumping, playing on these vinyls. So they take that very seriously. High density, high quality vinyl here. Mold resistant, UV resistant, and, um, and designed to last a lifetime. So uh, one other thing here before we move toward the back of the boat, I want to point out is this changing room. So this really can add hours to your day. And let me just illustrate why. Couple of reasons. One, if you need to have a bathroom on the boat, so early, late season when the lakes cool down, okay, you don't have a lakefront home maybe, you don't have a place to go that's quick, and you'd like to have a porta potty on the boat. Now here's the ticket. And this space here is designed specifically so that you can fit a porta potty in here. So it's designed to kind of hold it in place, but also when this is folded in and you look at the way the bracketing is here, it's designed to house a porta potty. So you've got that option or you get your standard option of, hey, don't need a porta potty on the boat, but just like the idea of the changing room and the privacy, you've got the curtain right here. So late in the day, everybody's in their suits, they're wet, looking to get into some sweaties because, hey, it's gonna be a gorgeous sunset or maybe you're close to the 4th of July, and there's gonna be a fireworks display that evening. You can change, get into your cuddly clothes right here in this privacy station, and then go on with your evening, watch those fireworks, watch the sunset, and celebrate all that God's blessed us with here in Northern Michigan here on, on, on our waterways. So love this, love how quickly too. Let me demonstrate how quickly you can stow this away. You grab your curtain, spin it around, and we're gonna stuff it right Right in its little home here. Got this elastic band here, and it's designed to quickly be put away. You got your porta potty, you slide it in there. If not, 
We're just gonna put it away just like so. Super easy. Okay, the back of the boat. Now, I've already explained to you just how uh, helpful and uh, how important having this double wide seat back is, okay? Again, giving you comfort and the option to either lounge or stack people up, depending on how many people are on the boat that day. Also, another added feature of having this double wide seat back. Okay, storage, right? Starcraft, these guys are boat owners, right? The owners of the company, right? All the people in management, they're boaters first. And so they designed these boats with purpose in mind. Storage is a premium. Whether you're on a cruiser, whether you're on a day boat, like a bow rider, fiberglass boat, pontoon, storage is critical. So they did a great job with that as well. Finally, I wanna point out this removable table. And this is great, it's got cup holders in it. It's just the perfect size too, because you can still walk alongside through this boat. You're not spilling anybody's drink, you're not drop, uh, 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 knocking over anybody's food. On display so great job again with the table this will pop up and out and go into this handy storage compartment without any trouble at all and so uh, I know that we kind of ran by this but let me just tell you this is huge right? you can put a big old Yeti cooler in there this is an enormous storage compartment that they purposely designed so that gives you some extra storage and flexibility depending on what you're carrying on the boat. Okay, whew. so if I didn't cover everything, listen, contact us at Grand Bay Marine, 231-943-0333, call, text. Uh, you can find us on the web. And if you've got any more questions about this boat or any others in the StarCraft line, pan, pan, pan over here. Now we've got a huge, we've been blessed. We are blessed to have such a big indoor showroom. We've got lots of boats on display in here. We've got dozens and dozens and dozens more on the various properties we own and so uh call us today we've got some great deals going on right now but we've also got some great inventory to bring in and show you I look forward to seeing you thanks